be with you and with your spirit. Christmas is a time when God dwells among us. In this special Sunday, we celebrate God entering into our family and homes. Welcome to this liturgy, and we pray for all families, especially those in distress and in crisis we now prepare ourselves as we to celebrate the sacred mysteries asking god's mercy and pardon <laughs> Lord God, Lamb of God, 
to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so, in the joy of your house, delight one day and eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. From the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over his sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children. And when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the death of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Behold, this is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His way. From the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all this, put on love. That is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts. The peace into which you are also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. As in all wisdom, you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Wives, be subordinate to your husbands, as it is proper in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and avoid any bitterness toward them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children so they may not become discouraged. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Let the peace of Christ control your heart. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as is written in the law of Mos in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation for the Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword, will a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Christmas is the time when God entered into a world 
of sin and error. People pining, awaiting. He entered into the lives of real people. It is not a myth. This is not just a story. He entered into the family, a family beset by so many evil. This is Christmas. Today, the family continues to be threatened by this secular world. The brokenness cost and brings about separation and divorce. Migration caused by poverty and search for better opportunities of life erodes family relationships. The challenge of single parents in caring and educating their children in all this, most difficult of all, the time of pandemic. The care for elderly in an extended family. Experiencing loneliness and depression. The dark forces of media that can bring strain in the vocation of parenting. And it is in this situation that God appears and the soul of this family felt its worth. And we read, Joseph and Mary brought this child, Jesus, into the temple to fulfill all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord. And they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. What does this mean? This family welcomed this child the child became the, the heart of relationship. Jesus became the core of responding to the evil of these times. They fulfilled the regulations of the law. That is done by their symbolic offering of the firstborn male offered to God. Children are gifts. Marriage is sacred. How did they come about? They went to the temple. They were counseled by Simeon, a righteous and devout man. The Holy Spirit was upon him. Couples must have counselors. They must search for God and people who are righteous. Not just browsing from the Facebook or the Google. There is more to it. There is the spirituality of the family necessary in these times. This family Mary and Joseph constantly lived in prayer and the spiritual discernment to discover the will of God. This is what couples need today. A common discernment. Dili magtinagsa. Dili ako. Unsa may ato. Unsa may atong buhaton nining panahon sa kalisod. What will we do with our relationship? Because this is a sacred covenant. We have to determine the will of God. And the whole Mary and Joseph uh, had this all the time. 
from the very annunciation of the angel to the virgin birth. They could not understand that. But they seek the will of God. Joseph, given in a dream to Mary, to betroth Mary, to be his wife. Their experience of rejection in search for an inn. I don't think it's just a story. It is the difficulty of what it means to be rejected. The poverty in a manger birth. No one could imagine what that is. To be with the animals and to smell like animals. The migration to Egypt due to threats simply to protect the child. That's a common discernment. Karun mo ingon, atukod ito sa abroad, bahala ka diya sa imong kinabuhi. That's not a good discernment. You have to plan together. You have to see what will happen to the children. The welfare and protection of your children. Dili na siya basta-basta nga desisyon. And in their return, as we're told by the angel, go back to Nazareth. Dito mo po yun. Because God has plans for you. Go back. There in Nazareth, they are to care for this child, to grow in age, wisdom and grace. These are series of discernment in faith. Malandong dili lang sa pagbati. Kung sa imong gituuhan. Mary followed Jesus even in suffering and death. A true disciple that she is carry your cross every day. Christmas and suffering and resurrection is one mystery. Carry your cross its day that led her to Calvary too. But also to share in the resurrection and glory of His Son. That's why Simeon is right. This child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel. And he will be a sign that will be contradicted. The holy couple is a counter sign of what the world is today. A family who believes in God. Who believes in this son of God. And he tells Barry that, Simeon, you yourself, a sword will pierce. So that thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. It's not an easy road. That's why I always tell couples who are getting married, don't think it's so romantic. It is a journey to the cross, assured of the resurrection. It is a message of hope in our world today. Yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. The darkness is broken. It's a message of hope. That's why Christmas brings us joy. This child, the Son of God, suffered and died for the sins of many. That is what salvation is all about. Yeah. It is the night that our dear Savior's birth. 
Mary kept all these things in her heart. And the gospel says today, the child's father and mother were amazed at what was said of this child. They allowed the word of God to dwell in their home. She welcomed God's plan of salvation. And as I said, important for families today, for couples, a daily prayerful discernment. Because it is in that discernment that we find meaning of life. What is this faith all about? It is faith in action. Fall on your knees and hear the angels' voices. Listen to the word of God. Listen to your conscience towards righteousness and truth. Mostly during this time of pandemic, what is happening to your family? Did you ever ask this? Where are they? Or where are you? The difficulty of how to make ends meet. When jobs are lost, illness comes. Relationship becomes distant and sour. If not sour, I hope not. Go. To your temple. Bring the child Jesus with you. Discern in the Spirit of God as prophesied by Simeon. Renew your covenant of love that is a gift of God. For better or worse, in sickness and health, in poverty and plenty, until death because God is a faithful God the Lord remembers his covenant forever come to the temple bring yourself in Jesus to fulfill the prescriptions of the law the law of the Lord the law of love no wonder today the church invites us and rightly calls this family Mary, Joseph, and Jesus as blessed holy family today we are asked to live in that prayerful discernments of the signs where God is leading your family because it is in this thrill of hope a weary world rejoices he mends broken hearts, restores dignity of the family and life, saved us from total destruction, and bring peace to each one. How do you feel about your family? Bring Jesus to the very heart of your families. In suffering and pain, he sees us in mercy and compassion like sheep without a shepherd. Seek his will and carry it out. What we believe, what you believe in faith, will please him. Once again, fall on your knees and hear the angel's voices. He is Emmanuel and Savior who brings our longing to truth and love. The soul rise. Rejoicing in the coming of our Savior, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible.
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became, and became man. For her sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we celebrate this feast of the Holy Family, let us place before our Heavenly Father the needs of His family on earth. For every petition we say, Lord, unite us in your love. Lord, unite us in your love. For our Holy Father, the bishops and religious, that they may always go about their daily tasks, strengthened in the name of Jesus the Lord, we pray. Lord, unite us in your love. That the love of God will blend perfectly with mutual love and respect in all our families, we pray. Lord, unite us in your love. Guide all parents to show their children by example the meaning of a good Christian life, we pray. Lord, unite us in your love. For those families who are experiencing difficulties, may their tensions be eased and happiness reign in their midst, we pray. Lord, unite us in your love. We pray for widows and orphans and those who suffer as a result of unhappy marriages or broken homes. We pray. Lord, unite us in your love. For the victims of the COVID-19 and the sick, especially Consolacion Rocamora, Anita Antonio, Fortunato Pacatang Jr., Ruth Boncaron, Janet Servas, Constancia Patricio, Jerica Gawan, and Lighter Alvin Duliesco. We pray, Lord, unite us in your love. For all of us, may the Holy Family bless all our families and keep in us the spirit of love, peace, and harmony. We pray, Lord, unite us in your love. For the deceased members of our own families, may we one day be reunited with them in our heavenly home. We pray. Lord, unite us in your love. We now pray for our personal intentions. God, our Father, you have given us the experience of human love as a way of sharing your divine love. Thank you for our families and for the graces we have received through them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
that these her sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice as your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that, through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that, as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing a hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, with all the bishops and the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We belong to one family of God, and so we pray the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Bring those you refreshed with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, 
to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ the Lord. Please be seated for some announcements. Malay pa yung Pasko sa tanan. Daigon o pasalamatan ta ang Diyos nga nagpakatawo ka nato ang manunubos si Heso Kristo atong ginoo. Daigon ta siya pinaagi sa masigabong palakpa. Sa ngalan sa atong kura paroko, Most Reverend Julius S. Tunel Didi, ang atong parish administrator, Father Ian Conturno, mga kaparian din sa cathedral o sa bishop's house, buot magpasalamat kaninyong tanan sa inyong walay puas na kaayo na gipakita o gibuhat panahon sa Adviento o Pasko. Nagmalampuson ang tanan tungod sa inyong tabang. Sa tanan nga mihatag suporta financial, pinaagi sa paghalad sa mga envelopes panahon sa simbang gabi o misa de Gallo, ang parokya na kalikong sa kantidad nga 332,720 pesos as of December 26, 2020. Kining natigong nga kantidad atong ibayad sa atong remaining account payable sa church maintenance ug pagpadayon sa church programs and activities. Salamat kaayo sa inyong pagkamanggihatagon. Ang Diyos magabalos kaninyo sa daghan nga pilo sa grasya nga inyong gikinahanglan. Ikaduha. Sa December 31, 2020, the solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God, diha sa pagsugat sa bagong tuig 2021, ang atong misa sa gabi eh, mapahigayon sa may alas otso. Pagkaugma, January 1, 2021, ang misa susama sa atong naandan nga misa, oras sa Domingo. Magsugod usab ni Ining Maong Adlaw ang novena sa Puong Nazareno. Gipahinum, gipahimangnuan ang tanang devotees, ihos di Nazareno, sa pag-apil sa novena matag adlaw dayon ang santos nga misa daghang salamat father ian r contorno in response to our welcoming the word of god especially in this feast of the holy family as you go home and those of you in the home give a kiss to your spouse and give a hug to your kids to once again renew in our desire to be with Christ in the home. Thank you once again for this uh, solemn Christmas celebration, but keep in mind that we're just starting with Christmas. We'll have the season of Christmas until the baptism of the Lord. So again, uh, let's rejoice in this uh, mystery of incarnation and that we uh, be able to, to nourish our faith in Jesus. Let us all rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.